Hey YouTube, you ready to see an update on my basement fish room? That's coming up next. Alright YouTube, been doing a lot of work down in the basement, right behind this door here, so I thought I would show you what I've done so far. You have to excuse the mess, it's still not 100% uh, set up the way I want it down here, but as you can see over in the corner, we got four tanks up and running. So we'll come down here and take a look and show you what I did. <clears throat> so to start with, what I did, um, I built this stand here. Originally it was going to be um, a triple 75 stand. And then I got to thinking, well, and the reason that was going to be was because what I was going to do along this other wall here, I was going to do these uh, 125 dual stack stands, which I'll talk about in a minute. And then I was going to do um, another four foot stand that would have a Fat Boy 120 on the bottom and then the 90 on top. <clears throat> and then that didn't work out because the Fat Boy. Um, the fish store that had them on sale, they ran out, and then to order more, it was going to be like almost 100 bucks more or whatever. So I figured I could get, they still had the 125s at a really good price, so I figured I could get two 125s for almost the price they wanted for one 120 fat boy. So anyway, so what I did is then I modified this, well I didn't modify it, but I had already had it built for a 120 on the bottom and the 90 on top. So what I decided to do then is just throw the 75 down here. First I was going to do it on the top and then I figured well it would be easier to work with uh, you know, trimming plants and stuff like that if I had it down the, the, one, or the 75 down on the bottom. So everything that was in this 55 planted before, which you see is empty now, is in here. All the equipment and everything I just transferred over for the most part. And then I moved the 120 that used to house the Hogas up here. And now the uh, um, the pair that I had down in the 40 here of the, uh, I'm never sure how to pronounce it, Xyloensas, Heloensas, whatever. They're in here. And boy, these <laughs> move these guys into the 90 and they are so active and they're always hungry. I mean, they just want to eat. Really getting into these guys. Um, she's almost healed up. I don't know if you remember from my last video. I showed you when I first got these guys from the fish store. Um, um, I put them together, and they the male instantly went after her. Um, he's got a little bit of a sore that I'm not sure how he got it, but it's it's it was worse. It's healing. I've been doing some Malefix both for him and for her wounds. But they're active. They're eating. Everything's going well. One thing I thought was going to go away, but you notice he's not like pure white. He's almost got kind of a bluish tint to him um, compared to her. Um, I figured maybe that was just a coloration that he had in the tank he was in at the fish store, but that's basically what I um, what he's what he's got. That's fine. I really like these fish though, so I'm looking forward to when these get a little bit bigger. Same stock in the planted tank. Uh, most of the same plants. Um, and so then what's going to happen over on this other wall here is we've got this double stack of 125 gallon tanks. I'm going to build another stand exactly like this. It's going to go right here. You can see I got one 125 waiting. And uh, then these will go away eventually. For now I'm going to just move them over kind of L off here um, because um, I plan on getting some... Uh, some smaller cichlids to put in there uh, that I can grow out eventually go in these tanks. Um, hopefully some umbies and stuff like that. Um, I'd like to get a like to get some red devil. Um, still thinking about what all I want to get. But anyway, so the Holga pair is up on top here. We're still divided. Um, when I put them in here, I took I, I put them in without a divider at first, and they were doing okay, just like every time I pull the divider, and then. Um, then he started just getting a little rough with her, so once again we're, we're dividing it. But the funny thing is, is <laughs> compared to when they were in the 90, um, they kind of sit back to back against the divider like this a lot. Um, so that's new behavior, I guess. But um, I swapped sides too. I used to have her on this side and him on that side, but 
So I'm um, gonna probably, I got just tons of rocks and driftwood and stuff from, I don't know, going back how far around here. So I'll probably scape these tanks up a little bit. Then down here, nothing in this tank yet. I'm, I, uh, I just got it filled up with a little bit of driftwood in there. This driftwood just needs to soak uh, so that it'll, it'll be, get saturated. But um, this tank's ready to go for some fish anytime I can get some. Um, I've got uh, three or two, uh, two seated um, Marineland Penguin 350 um, hang on back filters on this one, so it's, it's ready to go. And, uh, and then what I'll do here in the next week or so is build another stand and it'll go right here. And then we'll get those tanks up and running. Um, got uh, some filtration on the way. I picked up this old Fluval 404 at our local Minnesota Aquarium Society fish show this past weekend. I'm gonna get that running. Picked, up, picked it up for 20 bucks, can't go wrong there. Picked up uh, an old Via Aqua titanium heater. You can see the heater right here and then the controller. Before before they were digital uh, readout, so I'm not sure how old this is, but it works like a charm still. By the way, guys, Via Aqua heaters, I've really been having good luck with them over the last few months. I've got titaniums with the, with the controller um, up in both my discus tanks, and then in a few of these tanks down here, like here's an example. I've got just the regular quartz heater, and they, they just... They've been spot on for me. I you probably heard me complain before. I've had bad luck with um, the uh, the uh, what are they the Eheim Jaegers in the past, um, and uh, I, I I really like these heaters, but um, that's just my opinion, I guess. So um, that's what's going on here. Um, I'm really digging this little area I've kind of set up here. Um, all this mess here, a lot of it's going to storage. So. What'll happen when this is all done is um, um, we've got a treadmill and, a, and an elliptical here that um, will be turned around facing this wall and there'll be a TV up there um, and then the rest of the room will be pretty open except for this, you know, the shelves of storage over here. So it'll be a nice open fish room area that uh, can sit and enjoy. Maybe I'll put a chair or something down here, I don't know, but I'm um, looking forward to uh, getting some some big Central American cichlids uh, in here. Um, not going to be big to start with, but uh, we'll be getting some that we can grow out and uh, hopefully get some pears going and stuff like that. So, and then I've got uh, a couple uh, hospital tanks, smaller, like uh, I got a 20 long and a couple 10 gallons that I'll be setting up somewhere in this area down here too, um, just to uh, have that ready for when when it's needed. But um, Other than that, that's about all that's going on right now. I've got some more canister filters on the way to filter these tanks. Um, I actually won in the raffle yesterday at the Minnesota Aquarium Society uh, um, show. Um, I won an Aquatop, whatever, three, three something. The one that, uh, the one that uh, does like 350 gallons per hour. And then I've got on order the uh, one of the Sun Suns the one that does five that uh, is rated for up to 500 gallons per hour or whatever so um, see if we can get a little feeding going on since we're down here got some power feed these guys I'll be honest with you since I moved them they have not been themselves so they're not as uh, they don't always go to hit the food right away like they used to but watch what happens over here Oh, here comes a female, female out. Let's see if she's going to eat. She's just been hiding. She never used to hide unless she was, you know, getting harassed by him. But there's more flow in this tank, too. That, that might have an effect on it. I'm not sure. But beast mode. That's El Guapo right there. Sure would be nice to get these guys to pair off again so that their their colors look nicer and stuff, but every time I try it, these you know they he just he just beats her up. She's healed and looking good right now, um, but you know gotta wait and let nature take its course, I guess. 
All right, so we'll uh, do a little feeding over here. Some more Southern Delight Power Feed. She loves it. There she goes. Nice. Give him some too. So yeah, tell me what you think. Um, just wanted to kind of give an update. A lot of people have been asking uh, how the progress is coming, so I thought I would share, even though I'm not done. Um, but uh, I feel like I made some big accomplishments this weekend by getting all four of these set up and 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 rolling and everything. So um, hopefully within the next couple of weeks, I'll be able to show you what we got going on here, and I'll be able to show you uh, some fish that I've got in here, and we'll go from there. Um, you know, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you go over to Aquatic Support Systems and click that like button. Make sure you go over and join uh, the Aquatic Support community on Facebook. It's a great group. Um, membership keeps growing, and we're having a good time over there. It's a great place to post your videos, post your pictures, ask questions, talk about your fish, you know, that type of thing. So it's always fun. Um, and uh, if you don't mind too, go over, I've got a Facebook page, Dolly VH, Brian's Fish Tanks. Go over there and click the like button. And then uh, check out the, uh, the Hydra Forum and check out the uh, Pet World Radio, um, The Cichlid Life. It's a weekly show that Conway Stevens and Sam Garcia do. It's really cool. Um, all the members of Team Aquatic Support were on there a few weeks ago and we had a good time. But... It's a cool little radio show, so check that out too. I'll put the links for all that in the bottom, as long as the links for all the members of Team Aquatic Support. Uh, make sure you're subbed up to all those guys and gal. Courtney's the newest member. Um, make sure you check out their channels. Everyone puts out great video content, and you're missing out if you're not subscribed to them. So, With that, I will let you go. Thanks for watching as always. Later. Thank <laughs> you.